melting point measurement. We can determine the melting point of a solid sample with electronic melting point apparatus. It is useful in determination of purity of a sample and sample identification. A melting point capillary tube will be used. Different from a capillary tube, melting point capillary tube consists of an open end and a closed end. Tape the open end of a capillary onto a heap of solid sample powder to thrust this powder into the capillary. Gently tape the closed end of the capillary against bench top. This step makes the powder packed tightly at the closed end. Pay attention to the amount of the sample used. The sample should be about 1 to 2 mm in height in the capillary. If too much sample is used, the melting point range will be very broad and higher than expected. If the sample is hard to reach the bottom end of the capillary tube, a hollow glass tube can be used. For the electronic melting point apparatus, set the working temperature range of melting point about 3 to 5 degrees Celsius away from the expected range of the melting point of the sample. For example, in this demonstration, the melting point of the sample is expected to be about 116 to 118 degrees. So, the temperature range is set to 112 to 120 degrees. Press the heat button to preheat the apparatus to 112 degrees before the measurement. The starting temperature for this measurement is 112 degrees. Insert the filled capillary into the sample well of the apparatus. Observe the change of the sample carefully through the eyepiece of the apparatus. When the sample starts melting, record the temperature. When the sample melts completely, record the temperature again. The two temperatures give the range of the melting point of the sample. Certain electronic melting point apparatus have its own camera to monitor the melting process. Press Report to check the melting point of the sample. For example, in this demonstration, the melting point of the sample is determined to be 113.8 to 114.7 degrees.